the grammar of kili is mean only or just or see or after the dot that means when you use kili that means you can say uh, something like just or something or only or see and in Japanese when you use the uh, grammar of kili then you can use use with the verb and noun by the verb you can use uh, in the past tense form only no dictionary form no negative form right so remember that you can use just in the past tense form and for the noun you just use uh, in that no nothing change and kili and followed by kili but after kili you can use kili or kili which means you have a small zu, jisai zu, right in Japanese they say jisai zu and kili or you just say kili no zu so please remember that uh, it just has the same meaning when you see uh, even it has small zu or it doesn't have zu together it just had the same meaning that only just was just seen or after the or something so the next let's go to see some example to make more understand about how to use kili the grammar of kili the for example watashi wa hitori kili de korasu no ga yada watashi wa hitori kili de Plus no ga yada, which means I don't want to live or alone. I don't want to live or alone. The next example, futari kili de hanashi o shitai desu. Futari kili de hanashi o shitai desu, which means I want to talk privately with you just the two of us i want to talk privately with you just the two of us in the first sentence that you see that we use with the uh hitori which means is now so when you use now with the kili nothing change and hitori kili hito kili and uh for the second sentence you see that futari kili Futari kili is mean uh, it had the same meaning but we have the uh, small zu right or we say jisai zu so no problem it just had the same meaning you can say futari kili that has a no zu jisai zu it just had the same meaning but just depend to you that you want to uh, when which one you want to choose to use and the meaning of kili is mean if you say hitori kili that means only only you only one only one person all the time kili is mean uh cut out right just only that thing so futari kili is mean only two people no other body just only two people that uh, face each other and talk to each other so when the first sentence that when you use the hitori kili this mean only you it mean that you only want live you only want nobody no married no children no friend right and the second the second sentence that mean futari kili de hanashi o shitai this which mean uh, only two person that uh, talk together no another body come to join so you can say futari kili de hanashi o shitai desu which means i want to talk to you privately because it's uh, the secret right something like this the next uh kanojo ni atta no wa ikkai kili desu kanojo ni atta no wa ikkai kili desu which means i have um only met her one time i i only met her one time you can say i have only met her 
one time. The next, 彼女とは別れたきり、一度も会っていない。彼女とは別れたきり、一度も会っていない。Which means I haven't met with her at all since we broke up. I haven't met with her at all since we broke up. For the first sentence that we use the, the noun ikai, right? Ikai is mean the nouns we kill it, so we just use that. And ikai kill it just mean uh, one time, one time only, no another time, right? It's mean kill it, that mean only that thing. And for the second, we will see that we use the wakaleta kill it, right? Wakaleta is the past tense. If we say in the dictionary form, we can say uh, wakaleta, right? So change to the past tense, we can say wakaleta and kili. We cannot use wakaleta kili. We don't, they don't use that. If you, you use the wakaleta kili, that means you are wrong with the grammar. So we can say wakaleta kili, that means since uh, you have uh, blocked up in that time, you never uh, meet each other. Kanojo to wa wakaleta kili, that in the time that you block up. Ichido mo atte nai, which means that you haven't met her anymore since uh, from that time. So do you we you use that kili with the uh, that the situation or the now that uh, happened that one time and uh, you never you haven't uh, do or done something like that? Thank you much for watching my video clip and please help me subscribe my channel if you haven't. I hope to see you about learning Japanese in the next time. ありがとうございました。